So let's continue working with our design. Before we added some CSS, we're gonna add these sections, this image, this title right here. And in the next video, we're gonna add the first sheet that we have. If you open Atom, you can see that the code is really, really straightforward. You have a container and the container is gonna surround everything. So inside you only have rows and some columns, some image and some code like, th like that. So we have finished this row. We're gonna create another one. Since you can see in the design, we have the logo at the top and the image at the bottom. So let's add something like a row. And we're looking for, let's add the, the code columns. Close the columns. And here, right after, you can add a small 12, the number of columns, large 12. And then we're gonna add the image, this image that we have here. And this image call is called top image. So let's add something like IMG, SRC, assets, IMG, top image, dot JPEG. If we save, you can see now we have the image. And this is gonna be fully responsive. I can make this smaller and you can see that it, it adapts correctly. Next, we're gonna create another row. And this row only will contain the, the text. We can add something like an H2. Close the H2. And you have our designs. So let's say, and you can see that the our designs is on the left. So you can add something like a class text center. And this will center the text horizontally. So this is almost all the, the HTML that comes with Inky. You can see it really, really simple. It makes it really, really easy. If we close these assets and open the index.html, you can see that our file or compiled version is having more and more and more code. And our design in Inky is looking more cleaner. So in the next video, we're gonna work with this, the first design that we have here, only the inky part, and then we're gonna start working with some CSS.